Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Black Hole Sun here on Chasey K Plays. I am Chasey K. Let's get back to it. Back to the Gold Comet part of our campaign. All right. Uh, we are on 19. There we go. Sensei, we get to use some helicopters this time. Uh, so, a, uh, a viewer wrote in on the last episode and and mentioned, hey, um, capturing more cities. And I think they're right. <laughs> I think uh, I think I've been a little too overzealous on trying to, like, capture the middle of maps uh, like, oh, we got to get that airport or that seaport or the base factory, whatever the hell. Um, and more often, you, you just really need to capture more properties uh, that they give you and build better units instead of trying to stretch yourself out too thin. Because um, what usually happens, which I've noticed as a pattern, is, you know, I, I go out, I, I do grab that middle part of the part of the map, and then I kind of lose that middle part of the map because the enemy has just better unit quality at that point because they have just been capturing cities. And then... Um, and then I have to kind of grow my army back and then take it back over. And then, you know, it, it just makes things longer than it has to be, even though the idea in my head is, oh, you capture the middle of the map faster and then you control the map. Right. And that's that's not always the case. So we'll uh, we'll attempt to do that more here. If that's even something you get to do on this map, we'll see if there are any capture points. But I have to imagine there are if if there's going to be some airports. So. We're just going to make a bunch of helicopters and uh, try to take over the whole board. And it's a Fog of War map. Uh, yeah, the comment also mentioned on Fog of War that, uh, at least in the GBA versions, the enemy cheats, which I feel like I remember being true. Like, the enemy basically acts like it's not a Fog of War map. Um, and, and I think, for the most part, that's true. I... Hmm. At least at least in terms of like non forested tiles, I think like forest tiles still make you feel hidden. And and also, you know, we don't know. I don't know. At least I haven't looked it up. I'm sure somebody has talked about it that um, that, you know, with the with the reboot camp version, maybe it's uh, it's changed a little bit. Like maybe maybe they went back and fixed that part. But I don't know if that's true. I'm going to play it like I'd be playing another human and I'm still going to try to use fog of war. So maybe I'm just a dummy in that way. Uh, but, you know, practice how you play, right? If we're going to I mean, I'm not going to play online with this game, but uh, if I were to play online, I'd want to play, play it smart. So we'll see. Uh, we haven't talked about Sensei at all. Sensei here. He's the old guy. Uh, maybe I should have read that. Was he is he Kambe's father? I don't think that's the case. I don't think he's related. Um, Fair enough, um, but I know he does helicopters, so we're gonna we're gonna use a lot of those. I did know about joining two damage units together. <laughs> if you don't grasp what I'm telling you, then you've got no hope of defeating me. He who laughs last laughs best. <laughs> they didn't uh, they didn't do the VO for that last bit. OK. That, that's the thing I, I think I'm really frustrated by this this remake on it. I know it sounds like such a small thing and even oh they threw you a bone. They they voiced some of the dialogue. But that's that's kind of what bugs me. I really I'd prefer if it was just all stuff you had to read or all stuff that was voiced. Uh, or even if it was like, here's a whole cutscene that is voiced, and now here's stuff that's uh, that you have to read. But it's when they give you Fire Emblem Awakening did that a lot, where it would give you like a bit of like a, a bark almost of of a little a little piece of text, and then lets you read the rest of it. And that just I don't know, it just kind of annoys me. All right, so in the spirit of uh, capturing more cities, let's make two infantry units. And we don't have enough to make a T-copter. That is probably our next plan to get a T-copter, start capturing some of these other spaces. Um, 
so yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that goes. That's a good start. Okay, and then we do have enough now for a T-copter and an infantry. So we'll get them in there and uh, then we can start. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really want to come capture these two, but maybe we should just capture the stuff here on the ground. We'll we'll see. Because we also don't know what enemies might be up there. Um, we might be putting ourselves in a bad way. I mean, I guess we don't know what enemies are on the left side either, but... Um, get some captures done. I think I want this spot. And the T-Copter also protects us in that way. Um, let's get ourselves... Probably just two more infantry. So now we can get this T-Copter to move here, move a guy into it, and then get them moved over further. Okay, they captured something. So let me move you down here. Eight K. So we've got enough for. Why don't we buy ourselves a recon unit just to give ourselves a little bit more vision as we move this guy over, and then uh, we don't have enough for another T copter. I feel like we have enough units though. So let's just let's hold a couple units like that, and then uh, we can buy something bigger next turn. Okay, they got something that drives. All right, let's get a little bit risky. Okay. Uh, 10K, let's see. I'm going to go another sea copter. Put you in there. I think we save our money. We can we can do a battle copter next time and then uh, have a little bit of uh, air support. They don't have any air. Un well, we don't know what they started with, but at the moment they don't have any air units that we know of. Um, so if they don't have that airport yet, then we should be in a better spot. Okay, this guy might be dead, but we're just going to kind of test the waters a little bit. Okay, nothing there. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves a battle copter just to protect ourselves a touch. Now let's hide in these woods. Oh, OK, we do have some stuff. Tank and a guy. That's good. We're, we're blocking that off. And I think we keep that being blocked off. Um, in fact. What I'd really like to do is put a T-copter also here just to protect us for ourselves further. But is it better to. Is it better to go grab this guy and put him somewhere else, or is it better to continue to plug up this area? I think it's better to plug up this area right now. Just to make sure we can capture all these all these spaces and give our battle copter a little bit more time to get over to that side of the map, because uh, we should be able to build another battle copter here 
relatively soon. We also have this uh, T-copter that's going to come back and pick pick our boy up next turn. So let's save the money and just see what they've got. Okay, that's fine. We, we don't mind having a forest fight like that. So let's grab airport of the base. I think we grab the the base first. in the way. Okay, just a city with another guy on it, so that's fine. We'll capture this. Battlecopter will get over here and we'll build another battlecopter. Yep. Okay, bought ourselves another turn over there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to, I guess this guy doesn't really matter. So why don't we just put you in the T-copter, get you over here, capture this. start blocking off this area. Okay, that's good. That's stuff we can that's stuff we can handle. Uh, now, what I want to do is move you. I guess we got to get you back on that city. Uh, oh, wait, that was dumb. I guess it wasn't dumb. We, we had to do this anyway, but um, we, now we can't attack the guy. We have to just see him there. Um, just more dudes. OK, I think we've got this blocked off pretty darn well. That's feeling good. Uh, we could build another battlecopter down here. But at this point, maybe I'd want to build a tank or something here to start really clearing these units off. I mean, we are the battlecopter guy. Yeah, we'll we'll make more money. Let's just buy another battlecopter. Uh, does that all look good? I think so. Yeah, that guy really can't go anywhere, so it's fine. Pretty good. Sensei doesn't have better infantry, does he? I didn't think he did. Okay, that's good damage. Uh, and I think. You know, I don't know if we really need this teacop. We have another teacopter. I think what I'd like to do is try to block off. Yeah, OK, so now we've blocked this APC from leaving. I feel pretty good about that. Um, we've got a T-copter with a guy. We'll put you there. Um, oh, yeah, let's do this. Okay, they do have an anti-air. That's 
good to know. Uh, so for, oh, and they have our artillery too, which doesn't affect us at the moment, but it's going to become a problem. Um, all right, we need something to deal with. I guess we don't have to worry about that left side too much, as long as we're still just blocking things up. Um... So in that respect, maybe what we do is just continue to put blockers here, because if we can just force them to waste their time killing one unit at a time, we can dominate the middle and then come back around and, and take their uh, take their HQ. So let's uh, let's operate on that plan. 9K. Tank. Yeah, let's just go for a tank. So I assume that tank leaves and that anti-air jumps in, which makes sense. So that battlecopter is probably not long for this world. Nope, <laughs> not at all. But here's actually, man, I think we've just skunked them here on the left because this guy doesn't want to attack unprofitably onto my recon, but they have also stacked so many units that it can't move out of the way. So as long as we don't kill this guy, I think we're OK. That's kind of wild. Uh, all right, let's get this battlecopter up here. Take this guy out. Start capturing this city. Capture the city. Capture this. Uh, let's put... I'd like to get a little bit more vision, so let's put you here. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that T-Copter continues not to hurt anybody, so let's leave him there. Let's finish off... Yeah, let's just finish off this APC. With a guy in it, so that's double nice. Let's again just do a little little sightseeing. That capture probably doesn't matter, but it's fine. Um, do we build another thing here? I think maybe we take a turn off and just see see what happens. Because I'd rather build another battle copter in the center of the of the map instead of down below. OK. They built a mech up there. That's perfectly fine. Take this city. Um, I mean, it's actually faster to not take that city with that guy. Well, we can just keep capturing because then these guys will move further up. Uh, let's get the tank up here. Probably doesn't matter, but I am going to put the tank. Well, no, no, no. we're going to put the tank here so now we can see the area. Uh, OK, that's fine. Let's put you here. Rockets, which also don't hit us. See, they've they've really screwed themselves up here. Um, so we're we're just chilling on that stuff. 20K. Let's take ourselves a battle copter and then I think we're eventually going to get ourselves a, a, a bomber here. Um, but at the moment, we can just keep 
everybody's everybody's just being cool. So we'll uh, we'll keep being cool. Uh, do we want to move? Yeah, let's move this tea copter. And then we can get a guy moved a little for a little further. So now I, I guess what we plan to do. Because this. Because um, this anti air is kind of stuck down here. If we can block off these spaces like if we can get enough battle copters to block off these handful of spaces they just can't do anything about it um all right i'm gonna block off this so they can't make new guys over here And a tank. Do we care about that tank? I don't think so. That tank's not going to hit us. So yeah, let's just take out another mech and sit on a base. And they can't make more units there either. So now they have only one place that they can build more units. Um, and let's put you here. No, no, no. Let's put you... It doesn't really matter, but let's put you here and drop you there. And then let's put you back here to get that vision again. You keep capturing. That tank's not moving anywhere, but it doesn't really matter. So we'll move this up. And we'll build ourselves a bomber. Uh, I mean, if the if the computer was not stupid, they would have thrown this infantry unit on the recon, just let it die. And then they would have really just started crushing stuff over here with tanks or anti airs. Um, but they're not and we're not going to stop them. So it's fine. And apparently they still haven't built any missiles. Because I think one of our battlecopters would have been dead by now if that was the case. OK, another city captured. We'll block that even further now that he's fully healthy. Um, do we do? I think we do. I think we just start blocking this area off. I guess we actually should have. Oh, they have missiles now. Uh oh, I mean, uh oh, for them, we we figured this out. Too late. Too late. All right. Uh, yeah, let's. Let's make sure we just take this out. And then let's also go after the mech. OK, so the anti-air can come up here and destroy the battlecopter, which isn't great. Um, so what if instead we make it fight the T-copter? Um, We don't actually need to capture that space. We're going to capture the, the HQ, but might as well go there. We also need to block that off still. Um, you know, we could just hit the anti-air really hard. Then it really doesn't matter, does it? But also, if, well, yeah, no, let's just just do that. Because now he doesn't even really hit us at all. Uh, we'll make another battle copter. And you can keep moving towards that city. It's not going to matter. So they'll get to build one last ditch thing here. Uh, and I guess they can move this off and build something there. But 
We'll uh, we'll see what they have, but I uh, I think we got this one. In fact, at this point, we we could just yeah. Let's just do this to be sure. Oh, I guess this rocket that rocket is a problem. Um, so we'll have to and this rocket's going to hit our our tank as well. Uh, although our tanks in the forest, so maybe they can't see it. We'll see. Uh, so I guess we have to hit this rocket uh, next time, the bomber. Just to make sure our guy doesn't get hit by rockets when he starts capturing their HQ. Yep, that's fine. OK, they just built mechs. That's also fine. Hmm, what I'd like to do is take you out and then 73 is good. Match do the rest there. Artillery's on that space, so yeah, let's just hit the artillery with the tank. And let's take this battlecopter and finish off this guy. And then let's put you there. Uh, I guess we didn't do anything about that guy. But because it's a mech, he's slower, so he's not going to be able to. <clears throat> yeah, he can't catch us this next turn. So we're fine. Um, you know, I guess just to be double fine, let's. Uh... Yeah, that's the name of that studio uh, there. Now you're uh, taken care of. You can sit here. They are completely pincered at this point. Uh, we're good. So one more Battlecopter for old time's sake. And uh, let's finish this one next turn. Delicious. I don't know if that's going to help you a heck of a lot. <laughs> yeah. Do you get to take out that helicopter? I don't think so. Yeah, even with the power, that's not that's not a lot. And they just keep building mechs for some reason. Uh, you know, just to say we did it, let's let's put our power in. I like that. Oh, he just makes like a bunch of dudes. Oh, I didn't know that. That's awesome. <laughs> That's really cool. Uh, all right. Well, let's uh, let's capture. Um, let's just do a bunch of damage, I guess. I mean, we've already won, but. Let's race ourselves. Let's see if we can route them um, before we before we capture the HQ. What do they got left over here? My camera is still in the way. Uh, an APC and the artillery. OK. OK, 
Okay. Two more guys. Plink it over there. Yeah, it can. All right. We're good. We're good. Does this do 100? Yeah, it does. Hey, we got the route. All right, that was fun. Sensei, you did it. You that was going. that was a good time. I I don't know if the if the new strategies from the uh, from our commenter really mattered here. I feel like I would have played it the same way, but you know, it worked out great anyway. We did that one so quickly, I uh, think we could probably do another. Guess I still have a trick or two up my sleeve. Hundreds across the board. Feeling good. Let's look at mission 20. All the way up here. Sea of Hope. OK, got some seaports, still got some airports. We got everything on this one. Enemy lab uncovered. I bet this one's going to be a big map then. Let's look at the gold comets and neotanks. And we're timed, of course. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Is this a three person? That'd be fun. I mean, I guess we had that the last time. Was it the, we did that with Blue Moon at one point? OK, we get to choose. Interesting. Um, I don't know if this is a fog of war map, but if it was, it would make sense to have Sonya. Uh, since they did incredibly well the last time, but I think eh, Kanbe, because everything is much more expensive. I feel like we'd have to waste more turns getting the money to make the units for Kanbe. So I'm almost leaning Sensei. Ah, let's just go with Kanbei. Let's see if if he's bad, we'll we'll lose and we'll pick again. Okay, not a fog of war map. Enemies have a lot of stuff, and we have no stuff. So we just have a bunch of battleships and a cruiser. I mean, that's not nothing. So. Well, we got to take out the rockets because they. Uh, they definitely affect us. Oh, it's not our it's not their turn. Uh, OK, so. Let's make infantry. And let's also make a tea copter. Well, we don't we don't need the key tea copter at the mo well, might as well buy it. Yeah. 
Okay. I suppose we could have purchased a uh, APC instead, but T copter will also end up coming in handy. All right. Can we just take out? Got to spend two on the rockets. Yeah, I think we I think we still just sit here right now with a. Uh, Not worried about the mech. I don't like the tank, though, so let's put that in some real pain. And then let's finish off these rockets, even though that's a little inefficient. It does keep them from using that against us. And then I don't think there's really anything for this cruiser to do. So this cruiser can't hit stuff on land, can it? No. So what's the... I guess if they were to get some air units, it can be useful. Uh, all right, let's let's put it in a place where it's not getting killed. So literally just in front of the battleship. OK. Oh, they did have a couple of air units up there. That's fine. All right, let's move. Let's get this going. Oh, interesting. I thought they'd move that mech with the APC further down to attack me, but they did not. All right, let's go capture this airport. Let's give ourselves a tank. And now we can start moving up with that. Uh, that rocket didn't move at all, did it? No, it did not. Oh, again, it's not <laughs> not our turn for that. Uh, all right, we got to capture this city. And then let's build ourselves another infantry. And get you ready. You can't get over there. OK, close. And so now we can get you up here. Uh, doesn't appear to be anything in the lander. So this should all be fine. I think that's all fine. OK, and now our battleships. Hurt the recon. I think actually what I'm going to do I'm going to move you one to the side and move you up one. So now we have this range on this uh, on this rocket. And now we're going to hit the mech. And it's not Gold Comet's turn anymore. <laughs> Got to be better about that. OK. OK, oh, they moved that rocket away. Smart thing to do. I mean, get get out of our ability to take that. Um, ah, that's interesting. So this this T copter is dead no matter where it tries to. To land, actually, it can land on the airport. So let's do that. Let's put you on the airport. Oh, we'll hang on these rockets. All right, yeah, put you on the airport, but drop you back. So you're out of rocket range. Oh, again, it's not their turn. Move you up. Capture this, capture this. 
Um, Got to get a move on with some of this stuff. Actually, wouldn't mind. Uh, they do have missiles, but they're not so bad. Maybe we get our own helicopters. Now, the, that cruiser is going to be tough, so we got to navigate the helicopter a little bit better. Probably shouldn't have bought the helicopter. We'll be fine, though. So, what do we want to do here? I think we want to... We're not worried about either of these units anymore. They're, they're nothing. Um... Okay, we can move this one up here. So now that rocket has to move. We can move this battleship. Right under the shoal. Yeah. Okay. Fortunately, that doesn't get us this guy. That's the one we really want. So we can do right under him. I, I think we just do that. Because this tank can't hit us for much. Yeah, I think that's fine. We're still out of the range of the, the bomber. Uh, we've got our cruiser to attack that. Okay, so they just got a lot of retreating guys. Oh, put that bomber in the water. Come on. Get that bomber somewhere where we can... Yeah, that's where I want to see it. I think that rocket is still in our... in our range. Okay, we are Gold Comet, so we still got to do this first. Um, Battlecopter could hit it if this were to move. So I think we have to focus on um, I think we have to focus on other um, Like, I, I don't think we can grab this seaport. That's what I'm trying to say. I think we have to go for the airport. Well, mm, yeah, I think we have to go for the airport. And then we'll capture this city. And then. OK, those rockets are still not available for that. We'll finish this guy off. And then I think what I'd like here. They don't have a lot of big bruiser units, so I think what I want to do is actually get an anti-air. Uh, which can deter some of these air units, but also do pretty good damage to the rockets or to a hurt tank or to missiles or APCs or recon. It, it beats all that stuff. So I think that's actually a solid option. And then got to find a way to get that cruiser to not mess us up. So we'll get right out of its range. I think we just leave it there. OK, how much can we hurt this? Not bad. That helps. OK, you can't hit anything. You can only hit that tank, which isn't really worth it. So I think I'd rather move the two of you, but we definitely want to hit these rockets. So 
So as long as we stay out of the range of those rockets, I think we'll be in a good spot. So let's move you here. Let's move you here. Yep, I think that's the best we can do. If you used your superpower, which it looks like you're about to do, the only things you can really mess up, I suppose, are the battleships. And maybe the cruiser. OK, yeah, you could you could hit the cruiser with rockets and that would not be good. They'd be hurt rockets. Still did a decent amount. OK, so you do get to attack us with that helicopter. That sucks. Oh, does he get extra range? I guess he gets extra movement range because we were out of the range of all these things before. That's. That's a bummer. That's a bummer because we played it more or less right, but in the end, didn't didn't matter. Uh, well, that bomber's now going to be a problem. I mean, it's hurt, which is good, but <clears throat> that leaves us in uh, some real trouble. I think we have to abandon that guy, unfortunately. We can take out these rockets. OK, well, at least the boat can't get us from over here. I guess we can sit back on a airport. And why don't we just make that helicopter make some bad decisions? We lose this helicopter to the cruiser, but we'll uh, we'll see if we can capture both of these things. And then uh, is there something else we could build? I don't really want to build an anti air over there. Because I think that helicopter is just going to bolt as soon as we can build something that's halfway decent. Also, it's such an awkward area that it's tough to get anything like what I'd like to do is maybe save up money and then buy a fighter and then the fighter can just easily take the battlecopter and then finish off this. Uh, this guy as well, so maybe we just leave it at that. So maybe we buy something cheaper. Yeah, let's just buy ourselves another tank. Move, move some stuff forward this way. I do feel like we need to buy another T-copter, though, too. Yeah, let's do that. Let's buy another T-copter and then we can move this guy up here, start grabbing these cities. Because we got a couple turns where we we can't get the fighter for a while anyway. All right, uh, what do we want to kill here? We don't really do a whole lot of damage left to that. Like for the chance to get this down to a three, does that really help us? I don't think it does. I think it's better to have, almost have this guy as bait. Um, so we can definitely kill those rockets. So if that's the case, let's just move this guy. Here, maybe down one. I don't know. That tank's not going to do anything to us. Yeah, let's just move it up. And then make sure these rockets die. Although, 
Yeah, no, let's just make sure the rockets are dead. And then... Yeah, again, you just you just don't matter. I would like to get you out of the range of the helicopter, but I don't... I don't know. Does that really do anything? Probably not. Let's just leave him there. Yep. Going after the helicopter. That's interesting. That's not the unit that's the problem. Yep, I knew that was going. That's fine. It serves its purpose. Okay, we can start capturing these. They are getting the hell away from me. Here. Um, I don't want to buy anything too expensive. Maybe we just buy another anti air. That's also maybe too expensive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, that's... Shouldn't have bought that. <laughs> that's okay. Okay, you got six shots, you got seven shots, you got six shots, so... <clears throat> Let's take the tank out, I guess, since we've got it. And everything else is moved far enough away where we can't hit anything with the uh, the battleships. We got some stuff in range, we'll see. Yeah, figured they'd go after that guy. There wasn't really anything we could do with it. We could make it run away, I suppose, but I, that didn't really. Whatever. Okay, that's interesting to go after him instead. That doesn't really hurt us. And that leaves the orange star battleships. I mean, I guess the orange star battleships don't matter too much anymore. Um. I think we just got to book it with some of these units. Mm, can't quite get to that helicopter either. Um, let's see how that works. And so next turn, we'll have to get the fighter. Um... So yeah, maybe we just save our money at that point. Let's get rid of these missiles.
Yeah, I don't think we buy anything. I think we just save it so we can definitely have the fighter and definitely just take care of a bunch of stuff. Uh, yeah, let's put the hurt on you. Let's just finish off the missiles. And there's not really anything for you to do, so I think we'll just put you here to discourage a bunch of units from coming down. Yep. Did I... Oh, those are battleships. I thought those were cruisers. Okay. Well... It sucks a little bit, but it's not the worst. Uh, that battlecopter put itself in real danger. It's a little too little too late on that unit. And also, you just put yourself in danger. That's weird. Uh, okay. Some interesting choices. Finish capturing that. Why don't we join these two units? Uh, we'll just take you out. I guess we should have done that from the beach. That's okay. Not the worst thing. And then that guy's done. So we don't need the fighter anymore. We could go for a bomber instead. Yeah, we'll just do, an, do a bomber. bomber can come and take care of these battleships and we can capture this airport then we can just throw everything over there uh 4000 do we do anything else i don't think we do i think we just save that uh these cruisers don't really matter anymore Actually, they do matter. They really do matter. Uh, we we messed up. <laughs> uh, darn. Well, I guess we'll take the one down. So this we're going to get hurt pretty bad by that, but we'll, we'll be able to repair it a little bit and then still move it out. So it'll be OK, but it, it does suck that we we lost some. Uh, we lost some strength there when we didn't have to. Uh, all right, let's just let's get that one killed. I can join. Oh no, it's not our turn. All right. Ah, uh, that sucks about that. That cruiser. How much how much damage does it do? Oh, he gets his power too. Jesus. Oh, if he takes out that bomber, I'm going to be so pissed. Okay, we live. We live with six. We'll go up to eight. That's that's actually not too bad. Those battleships are moving. Okay. All right, let's join these two. Do we just kill this? 
How much money we got? Yeah, I think we just kill this. Get out of the way. Allow our uh, allow a new flying unit. Let's get a battle copter. Yeah, now we can just start moving these both up. Uh, get you going. You reach, you could reach us. Are you going to? I don't know. Hey, he's got a lot of that area covered. And you've got that beach cut. You got that fully covered, don't you? Yeah. We could attack you, but it's for nothing. Literal nothing. Um, yeah, let's let's move. Try to only get hit by one. And now he's got to make a choice between these two. Um, and if we capture this city, then we've got kind of a staging area, really small staging area, but a staging area nonetheless. Uh, OK. And these guys can't move any closer for fear of getting hit by us. This sub probably doesn't really matter, but. It's something to hit. And we still got three shots anyway, so it's fine. Yep, that's all we can do. Of course. Mm hmm. Yep, took a took a nice shot there. You are coming in. Bold. Why'd they move that battle? Oh, I guess they moved that battleship just. All right. What? Oh, it's not. <laughs> Again, it's not her turn. Ah, stupid, stupid, stupid. All right. Move this T-copter down. I'm gonna try to get this guy. Should we build a boat? I don't think we need to build a boat. Let's just go battle copter. Probably should have attacked it with the anti-air. Okay. I think that's fine. Okay, and they put their battleship in our in our face, so we'll hit them, then they'll hit us. That doesn't matter a whole heck of a lot. And then we'll use that to finish off this. Hmm, I'd like to get a tiny bit more room. So let's move back one. So now we can, if they bring any of these guys up, which they don't appear to be interested in doing. They shouldn't really have much to hit other than that one battleship. And that battleship doesn't even really matter now, so. OK, they moved their battleship. Uh, it's 
protected. That's fine. Twenty-two, that's not enough for another bomber. Not yet anyway, so we'll probably just go another battle copter. It's just gonna take any of our ground units way too long to get up there to anything. I think also at this point we just start doing the damage we can do. Yeah, I think all we can really do are more air units. If we're if we're going to beat this in eight days. It's just yeah, I think that's what you got to do. OK. And then I suppose there's no reason to keep getting beaten up with that. So we'll just move you. Well, was that in his range? Yeah, it would. Yep. Unless somebody moves, we're uh, that's where we gotta be. I suppose at this point, what what we do is actually put our battleship in front of their battleship, so we can even just start to poke it down a little bit. Even though we'll take the brunt of a lot of these attacks, it's still better than not. It's still better. Than, it, we need to leave this battleship hurt, uh, even if we're not going to do a ton of damage to it. So I think the question is, do we waste our superpower just to try to take stuff out? Do we waste it now or do we wait next turn when we have another battle copter? Yeah, so maybe that was dumb using our battleship like that. I guess it doesn't matter because we're just going to. Well, it does matter because <laughs> they've got the uh, they've got that. So. All right. Yep. Let's just get everybody in position and check one more time just to be sure. Yep. Everybody in position. For the big damage phase. Can't step there. You've got that pretty well covered, too. Twenty seven K, so we'll grab ourselves another bomber. So here's the plan. Next turn, we're going to pop our super. We're going to destroy the rockets. We're then going to bring the anti-air in. Uh, they might move those rockets at this point, but I don't I'm not sure if they will. Uh, then we can bring this in and hurt this anti-air. We're going to have um, our big boy come and hit this tank pretty hard, maybe even kill this tank. 
Uh, we're also going to try to kill these uh, missiles while we can. So we've got three really strong units here that should be able to do some some solid damage. Then you can just poke that guy a little bit. It's not a great trade. It's a bad it's a real bad trade, honestly, but it's a uh, it's a trade we can make because those units don't do anything else. Functionally useless at this point. All right. OK, he did move. That's bad because that means the big tank now can. Big tank's going to. Oh, no, little tank. OK, little tank probably still hurts us bad. Probably does kill this unit. Then they move the bigger or the medium tank up. Oh, didn't kill. All right, we have life. Okay, not a heck, not a heck of a lot of days left, but I think we're not in a terrible position. Got to get to that bridge, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's pop it. Twenty to firepower, thirty to defense. Counterattacks deal one hundred fifty percent damage. Yeah. Nothing can stop. So knowing that counterattacks do so much more damage, we have to put our units. We we have to prioritize the units that um, that are ranged. So we they we force them into counterattacks. Can this helicopter kill these missiles? Should be able to, or more or less, it does. Okay, that is a great start. Can you destroy? Oh, you can just destroy that whole tank. That's great. Um, the rockets are the worst thing. Yeah, I guess we just take out the rockets, even though that's a big waste. That still doesn't do really anything, so let's I guess we got to pull you back. Do you do anything to this? Actually, not bad. Real good. Seventeen K. I think we just at this point just keep making battle copters. Um, we are going to have to capture, though, so we're going to have to either use the, the guy in here or the guy in here to capture. Um, but at this point, we took out their biggest units. They never actually got this seaport for some reason. Um, so we got their biggest units. And they're going to hurt. Uh, they're going to. Well, we're still in our super. They're going to they're going to have a tough time with our battle copters. Um, so all we really need to do is take out this uh, battleship and then we should have a pretty safe, uh, safe move into the, the HQ. I guess not the HQ, the lab. So do what you can, just poke it. Down to seven. All right, he's got his super, so he couldn't use his, but we're in ours, so we have a ton of defense. And I don't think his range really gets him anything. So he kills this. Yep. Yeah. 
Let's see. Let's see how much damage this really does. Still does a lot, and we didn't counterattack for much, but if we just lose one helicopter out of this whole deal, that's a pretty sweet trade. That's a hell of a trade. Okay, um, how much can we destroy this battleship? 28. You can't even get there. Okay, yep, we just take this out now. That frees a lot of stuff up. You can start running up here. Uh, while they're still in their super, I don't think we want to... I think we can just leave a bunch of units back. Just kind of taunt them with the, the hell we are going to rain down next turn. Okay, all their ranged units are gone. Now, how much can we kill the... Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. And once these are gone, you're, uh, you're very done. That should be enough. Did it with a couple days to spare. Now we're gonna get a little bit of revenge. <laughs> Sure. All right. Like that. This is just being petty, but I I don't like them. I don't like them very much.
Oh, we can't make a battleship. That's too bad. Let's make another bomber. All right. Mm-hmm. He's trying to run. Not going anywhere. Oh, that lander is going to get away. We almost got the route. Suppose we could wait one more day to get the route. No, no, no. We're just going to end it. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> As the sun rises each day. So does the might of Kanbei's army. Oh, one point off. That's all right. Okay. Feeling good. Those are uh, those are two pretty strong wins. We would have been in a slightly better spot if uh, Adder wasn't able to use his Sidewinder thing on that one crucial turn, but we still got past it. So... Mission 20 is done. Next time we will be on to uh, mission 21, duty and honor, four stars. So we are going down uh, down a little bit in the difficulty. And 22 is also down, but then we go right back up to a five star in foul play. So we're, uh, we're getting there. We've uh, captured a decent amount of areas here. It looks like we've got uh, these three and then one last one. And then after that, green earth time. And that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then whatever with black hole. So still, uh, still a lot, still a lot. How much more? Let's see. 58%. We, uh, we got a whole 6% today. Look at us. Well, I think that's going to do it for today's episode of Black Hole Sun here on Chase K Plays. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, if you want to see other stuff I'm doing, I got a podcast I do with my good friend Bobby Pease. It's called The Casual Hour. Go uh, go check that out. It's in the description. I also have another podcast I do with another very good friend, Pierce Corshane. It's called Pilot Program. We watch uh, we watch TV shows on that one. That one's, uh, that one's a good time, too. And uh, that's also in the description. So check that stuff out. Uh, next week, we'll be back with more Black Hole Sun. So until then, catch you later. <laughs>